This is Precalculus chapter 12, lesson two. I'm on page 802, problem 13. All right, when you use the Gauss-Jordan method, you wanna go column by column. And remember, we're shooting for ones in this diagonal, zeros above it, zeros below it, all right? So really, I could make this a positive one by just multiplying row one by negative one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I actually think I wanna go ahead and add row one to row three so that I make that zero before I change anything. All right, so I'm actually gonna do two steps in one. First, I'm gonna take row one and add it to row three so that this first term becomes zero. Two plus three is Five, two, that's five, that's zero. Make sure I wrote all these down correctly. Yes. Okay, I'm not doing anything to the middle row right now. I'm gonna combine steps. Now I'm gonna take this first row and I'm gonna multiply every term by negative one. So that makes it one, negative three, negative two, zero. Now I want a zero here. So I'll take row one and multiply it by two and add it to row two. All right, I'm not doing anything to row one or row three. But for row two, I'm gonna take row one and multiply it by two and add it to row two, all right? So multiply by two, two and negative two is zero. That's two, that's negative six, that's negative nine, that's two, that's negative four, that's negative six, that's zero, that stays three. All right, now I wanna make this one and those zero. I'm going to row two this one and these zero. Um, I think I can just take this row and divide every term by three. I'm gonna divide every term by negative three because then I'll have a three here and I can add it to that first row. All right, so I'm gonna take row two, divide every term by negative three and add it to row one. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and write the other rows down. Negative nine, negative six, three, zero, five, five, three, negative four, So, I'm gonna take row two divided by negative, negative three makes a positive three. Positive three and negative three is zero, okay. Negative six divided by negative three makes a positive two. Positive two and negative two make a, a zero. Three, that makes a negative one. Negative one, that's a negative one there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this last row and divide every term by one. And then I'll probably use that to make that one. Well, actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to simplify this one first. I'm going to take row three, row two, and divide it by negative three. Just to simplify this sum. And I'm, at the same time, I'm going to take row three and divide it by five. All right, so I'm dividing by negative three. That's zero. That's three. That's two. That's negative one. And I'm going to divide all these by five, one, one, zero. Okay. Now, I want to make this one. So I'm going to take... I'm not gonna mess with row one. Zero, zero, negative one. 
I'm going to take row three, multiply it by negative three, and add it to two. So row three, so negative three times row three, and add it to row two. Not changing this last row. All right, so both of these remain zero. Okay, negative three times, actually I want to multiply it by two because I want this to be one. So by negative two, glad I caught myself because I want a one right here. So negative two plus three is one. Negative two plus two is zero. That's just times zero, so this remains negative one. Wow, is that really the answer so far? Okay. Oh goodness, I need to get a zero here. I need to go back and get a zero here before I get somewhere I went wrong, huh? Because this is supposed to be, oh wait, no, I want a zero here. This is what I want, this is a zero here. <laughs> I was going the wrong place, okay. So I'm gonna move over a little bit. So to get a zero here, I'm gonna take row two times negative one and add it here. All right, so I'll just do this. Row two times negative one, and I'm going to add it to row three. I'm not changing any of those rows one. So I'm taking this row, multiplying it by negative one, and adding it to that third row. Okay? All right, well, this is just zero. Now this is negative one plus one is zero. That's just zero, that's one. Negative one times negative one is one, plus zero is one. And you have it. All right, so how do we wanna do this? All right, you may use a different, uh, you may work in different rows before I work in a row, but you always want to work column one first. Make it one, zero, zero. Then you want to work in column two and make it zero, one, zero. Okay, it happened that after I finished with column two, my column three, was also zero, zero, one. But if I needed to, then I would work in column three to make it zero, zero, one.